And then you started Campus Televideo, that was 1984. You're the founder and CEO of a startup company. Did you have to raise money? Did you do it on your own? I'm not as good at working for other people, so I knew I wanted to do my own thing. I did some uh, consulting as I made the transition from Cablevision, helped design cable systems in places like uh, Bahrain and Kuwait. And then early on, I found there was a niche market where the uh, big guys, the cable guys, didn't know what to do. That was universities. So we changed the whole methodology there. Rather than selling cable door to door, I made a deal with Penn State, UConn, University of Hartford, where we sell to the entire institution. You don't need cable boxes, and you get to pick and choose the programming you want. You know, it's a mix of entertainment and maybe a mix of educational as well. So we were streaming lectures and international programming. Fast forward about 40 years in the middle of COVID, here we were streaming classroom services back to kids at home because, um, Mm. you know, you couldn't go to school for that first four months.